Over the Thanksgiving break, my boyfriend and I went to Avalon, California on Catalina Island, and this was our journey. Santa Catalina, also known as Catalina Island or Catalina, is one of California's Channel Islands. It lies southwest of Los Angeles. It is known for its clear water, laid-back atmosphere, fun activities, and gorgeous scenery. Every year, the city of Avalon attracts over a million tourists. This year, we contributed to that number. We began our trip in Pasadena. We took an Uber from Pasadena to Long Beach, which took over an hour. Thankfully, the traffic wasn't too bad. We had to take Catalina Express, a cruise ship, to get to the island. Boarding the cruise took a while, and it did not leave on time. I wonder where the people went. It seems to be empty. After 70 minutes on the Pacific Ocean, Catalina Express docked in Avalon. Immediately, I was in love with the island. Everything looked so cute and pretty. We had lunch at this fast food place. I came from Brooklyn just to go to a place called Coney Island West. <laughs> Colin, what did we get? Burgers. And? Fries. And? That's it. Yes, I got more. a hot dog. And a hot dog, sure, yes, yes, hot dog. My angle view of food. Never seen this before. Oh, I should mention, Han got a GoPro for this trip and he was very excited about it. They didn't give me a fork, so I had to improvise. <laughs> I'm trying. There you go. How's your burger, Pon? Very good. You know, add some ketchup. <laughs> add some onions. <laughs> now people know that uh, I eat with, with food. After lunch, we took an uphill walk and checked in at our hotel. We stayed at Seaport Village Inn. We are at our hotel, just got our key, and everything is so cute! So this is our room, a really cute bed. After a big nap, here we go again! Am I even in it? Yeah, you're in it! You can see the whole bay! We briefly explored the entrance of Catalina Casino, the largest building on the island. It has a movie theater, ballroom, and formerly an art and history museum. It was named Casino because casino means gathering place in Italian. This building had never been an actual gambling facility. Since we were on an island, we naturally started looking for beaches. Pond, you said we were gonna go to a beach. What do you think of this beach? Sad. <laughs> This whole island just radiates rich people vibes. We've seen a yacht club. Right here, there's an ocean club. There's just like private clubs everywhere that we would never be invited to. <laughs> a staff member told us that we could ask to cross the gated community and reach the other side of the island for a better beach. On our way there, we came across some deer. After some hiking, we were stopped at a gate by a rude janitor who led in a few golf carts before passive-aggressively pointed at a sign that said private properties and asked us, can you read? So we went back. Merry Christmas! Uh, nice. At this point, we had noticed that the most popular vehicle on the island was golf carts, and some popular activities include parasailing, sea life safari, biking, and fishing. We did exactly none of those, and we walked everywhere. It was getting chilly, and we were getting hungry. Everything was overpriced on the island, so we did things the broke college student's way. We went to a grocery store. So we are having our first shopping experience on the island. Our grocery trip on Catalina Island at Vons. Finding my favorite drink here on Catalina Island. Definitely getting that. This is our budget-friendly meal. All right, welcome to our very romantic dinner at our hotel with a great view of <laughs> the other side. The wall. <laughs> we came out at night, and you can see the stars. But you can definitely see more with your naked eyes. And that 
is Los Angeles. Han just informed and educated me that this, what he called the orange ball of mine, is the moon. With the view of a starry sky and the sound of waves hugging the shore, we went to bed. Good morning, Catalina Island, day two. Han, what you doing? Taking photos. <laughs> We got up pretty early on our second and last day because we had a big mission. We're heading up to Chimes Tower to see the sunrise. There's a lot of clouds, so we can't guarantee that we can see the actual sun, but we are gonna get a gorgeous view nevertheless. Chimes Tower, everyone. So we have come down from the hill and we are now downtown. Just walking around and heading to our dear Vaughn's supermarket for breakfast because we already finished eating everything that we bought yesterday. By the way, this island belongs to the crows. Got our breakfast, photos, views, perfect. All right, we are checking out. We packed and checked out after breakfast. I sketched a bit. Then we headed to our last destination on the island, Wrigley Memorial and Botanic Garden. We had to take the bus to get there. The bus ran every 45 minutes. It cost us $2 to get on, and it was cash only. The Wrigley Memorial and Botanic Garden was built in remembrance of William Wrigley Jr who bought most of Catalina Island in 1919. The Botanic Garden showcased the biodiversity of the island. It was dedicated to the protection and restoration of Catalina. What did you get? A magnet uh -huh. and a guide. I think I'm gonna give this to Carla. We had seafood lunch at Luau Larry's, took a walk along the coast, and it was time to head back to the mainland. Thank you, Catalina! Han, what do you have to say to Catalina Island? Goodbye, Catalina Island. See you next time. Hold up, you're not focused. Let me tap on you. Go Goodbye, ahead. Catalina Island. See you next time. <laughs> Alright, bye! Does it only focus on one person at a time? Oh my god, yeah!